Haymaker, that mom with a laser here, and I have outdone myself with a project that I just finished. I cannot wait to reveal it and show it to you because my goodness, I'm like, I'm in love with this piece over the moon. But I have to preface how I got to what I'm about to show you. So I have a customer who said, I need an end of the year teacher gift, and it's something that all of the parents are gonna pull together to get. Maybe an interchangeable sign. I'm not a graphic designer at all, but when I can't find something that speaks to my heart, that's when something's born, and that's when like my best talent kind of emerges, and I like surprise myself. So long story short, I didn't want to do the same old heart, um, four leaf clover, pumpkin, Christmas tree kind of interchangeable sign. No. When I think about a teacher, I think of someone who has the most noble profession. Teachers on a daily basis try to teach our children how to shine their own lights, how to be kind. Ultimately, they want to see our kids change the world. So I wanted to create something that would honor a teacher's message and let them know just how important they are. So this is what I've come up with. <laughs> dun, 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 Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of it, I love it. Look how pretty it is. Okay, Whew. gotta calm down. Okay, so this is the first piece that I, I'm kind of teaching myself how to draw because I have so many ideas up here that I really want to manifest. So I got myself an iPad Pro. I've been learning how to use Procreate. It's like a $10 app. And then I got a fancy, um, oh gosh, I have such a disaster here. I got my iPad. And then this thing is like amazing. This Apple Pencil, it wasn't cheap, but I had to work my way up to it, okay? I've been doing this now for about 10 months. So anyhow, I drew it on here, sent it over to Lightburn, set it up to get cut and then created this beauty that I'm so in love with. When she opens up her gift, she's gonna see it, it's gonna say best teacher ever. And then throughout the year, she can change out her message. For example, her classroom theme is let your light shine. So she has her own little custom piece. Sorry about the light guys. And then other little inserts to help reinforce her message throughout the year. Always be kind. And my personal favorite, Let's change the world. Oh, I love it. I really hope she loves it too. And then I even made an adorable little keepsake box for her to keep all of her pieces nicely organized because you know teachers, teachers love to stay organized. That's for sure. And it says to teach is to touch a life forever. So this is my beautiful work of art. I can't wait to show you how I made it. Let's go. First, I'm gonna cut out my design. And while that cuts, I'm gonna go ahead and paint my backer with white Waverly paint from Walmart. And then when it dries, I will mask it and prep it so that I can score the design right onto the piece. Okay, so I decided to make this frame. It is 16 and three quarters by 12. And I'm gonna go ahead and take off this gorgeous little piece here. I'm so excited about it. And I'm going to apply my masking tape. And then we're gonna go ahead and score basically this whole pattern so that I know where to paint. This way I can kind of cheat and make it look like I freehanded it, but I don't. I just peel off the masking as I go and then I paint the parts, the colors that I want them to be. So this is a way that someone like me who cannot freehand, I, I wasn't gifted with that talent, I can kind of cheat my way into making something look really beautiful and clean this way. So now I'm taking an oil-based paint pen and I am drawing the outline with my black marker so that when I put the overlay over it, it kind of flows and looks like one piece. So I've got these little containers from Target and I like to put my little pieces for projects in each of these bins because it helps me keep things organized. And so what I'm doing here is you see I cut out like a, 
a template for my letters because I don't want my, my paint to seep underneath. Usually I pre-paint, but in this case I'm, I'm not. And so what I do is I take it off of my tray. I put tape on it to lift it up off of my tray and keep as many of the little pieces in it. And then when I'm ready to work on it, I flip it over. I take another piece of tape and I will put it on the back just like this. Not a lot, just enough to keep the main parts together. And then I will flip it over. And then I'll flip it over and I will just very gently peel off the top part. So now all I have to do is weed it and then I will start painting it. So I actually used a pre-painted whiteboard because with these metallic paints, I find that I can stretch the paint um, if it has a white base and then I don't have to use up so much. So I'm just using, now I'm using a dollar store sponge or makeup sponge and I am going to dab. This is one of my favorite acrylic um, paints to work with. I've got it upside down because I'm at the very end of it, but it's the Martha Stewart one, and this is the gold color. Um, yeah, gold. So I'm just gonna take my makeup sponge and dab this on, and I'll be done with my letters. Actually, I should clarify. I mean, this is my favorite metallic acrylic paint to work with. Other acrylics I just use apple barrel or whatever, but if I want a metallic acrylic, then this is what I use the most. Or this is the only one that I use really. So I've finished cutting out the rest of my inserts. This is what it's gonna look like when it's done. Look how pretty, I love it. Um, and so I need to paint those black lines on so it looks uniform when I insert it into the globe. So I am just using an oil-based paint pen. I got these off of Amazon. And so basically I'm just going to outline it. I left the masking on this part to help me keep at least one side of my lines perfectly clean and then I'll peel it off when I'm done. Okay, so the backer to my frame, I'm making it with three quarter inch plywood, which is what I've had. And if you notice, a one by two frame for this to me just looks a little too clunky. It, it would look better if this were half inch plywood, but it's not. So to make it look a little daintier and chic, just like I like things, I have taken, see how much better, that, to me that just looks a lot better. So I've taken, basically took a one by two and I ran it through the table saw so that it was, you know, half the size. And so now I'm just sanding it and then I'm gonna paint it and cut it and then put my frame on. So now I'm using my nail gun to put my frame together. Now if you use a half inch plywood, which is much easier, and you don't have a nail gun, you could easily do this with nails and a hammer. I'm almost done. Now I'm just gonna use clear Gorilla Glue that I put into a cheap squeeze bottle from Hobby Lobby. I used to not be a fan of this glue, but I've come around and learned to work with it. The trick is you cannot move it once you put it down. It's not a forgiving glue. So if you decide to use it, make sure you are steady and accurate. Well guys, that's it for today. I hope you feel inspired. I hope you had fun with me. And I have thought long and hard about what to do with this file and I've decided I wanna share it with you. So if you're a maker and you wanna make this too, you can get the file over at my Etsy shop called That Mom with a Laser. And just if you make it, pretty please tag me so I can see what you did with this little piece of my heart, okay? I'd love to see what you do with it. That's it for today, guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you here next time at That Mom with a Laser.